Hello viewers, you are welcome to this very important lecture on the reptiles. Now we want to look at the distinctive features of the reptiles and we also classify the reptiles. Now what are reptiles? Reptiles are basically, they are tetrapod vertebrates that are characterized by the possession of dry scales and scutes and they are also known to the poikilothermic, the poikilothermic organisms, or cold-blooded or ectothermic. Now, cold-blooded or blooded or ectothermic organisms or poikilothermic organisms are organisms that are not capable of regulating their internal temperatures. Their temperatures depend on the external environment. Okay, so they would have to uh, bask in the sun or use, use other means to regulate their body temperature in order to enhance their metabolic activities. And that's exactly what this lizard is doing. It's basking in the sun to increase its uh, temperature to enhance its metabolic activities. So the, the reptiles are basically uh, cold-blooded. They will have to bask in the sun to increase their body temperatures. Now, these uh, uh, reptiles are also known to be amniotes. Now, amniotes are organisms that have the capability of laying an, uh, eggs that can survive on land. And the eggs contain an amnion, which is a double membrane that enables the embryo to survive or to breathe on land. So the reptiles have an advancement over the amphibians in that they are able to lay their eggs on land while the amphibians have to lay their eggs in the water. So their capability to exploit land uh, puts them at an advantage over the amphibians. The reptiles are known to be oviparous, that's the lay eggs. Though there are some of oviviparous species and some of the reptiles would have to uh, uh, carry their eggs within them and the eggs hatch within them and when they hatch they now give back to those ones, the young ones. Then some reptiles are also known to be viviparous, they give back to live young ones. The reptiles carry out sexual reproduction, okay, they carry out sexual reproductions and uh, some are able to carry out parthenogenesis in which uh, a, a reptile is able to reproduce without sexual intercourse. Now these reptiles are classified into uh, three sub-orders. The extant reptiles are classified into three sub-classes. They are classified into three subclasses, and the three subclasses are the subclass Anapsidae, the subclass Lepidosauria, and the subclass Arcosauria. And the subclass Anapsidae is the other Chelonia or Tustidines, which has the tortoises, the tortoises, and the terrapins. Okay, those are shelled reptiles. Then the subclass Lepidosauria has two others, the other rhynchocephalia, which has the beaked reptiles, and the other squamata, which has the lizards, snakes, and amphibians. So this lizard, Agama Agama, this Agama lizard, actually belongs to the other squamata. It belongs to the other squamata. It's a squamid. Then in the odd subclass Acosaria, we have the um, we have the crocodiles in the order Crocodilia. Now, the, this Sagama lizard um, has some features we want to also appreciate. Now we have here uh, in the head, the head is reddish, it's a male Agama lizard, okay, it's reddish, and the eardrum or tympanic membrane is uh, basically a, like a part of skin just behind the head. Okay, it's uh, that's the eardrum, and it's not as advanced as the ear of the bird that's internalized and that of mammals. Okay, now the body of the Agama lizard is scaly 
and it has five digit toes five digit toes unlike the reptiles amphibians rather that have four digit four limbs and hind limbs then the uh, body of the reptile is divided into four parts the head the head the neck the trunk and the tail the body of the reptile is divided into four parts the head the neck the trunk and the tail thank you very much for watching this very important video on the reptiles and i believe you've learned something from it please keep watching videos from my youtube channel and my tiktok channel and you will be glad you did you'll learn a lot on in biology and you'll be competent biologists thank you